Hello, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madhya Sosen and I am a motivational speaker. As you know, the world right now is changing and most of us are in lockdown because of coronavirus. There are a lot of people who are struggling with anxiety right now and if you are one of them, I have 10 things that you can do to help improve your mental health during this pandemic. bit about my background. For 15 years, I used to suffer from anxiety and depression to a point I could not even leave the house. It was only four years ago I started to transform my life and invested heavily in personal development. Uh, now I've got to a stage where I'm no longer the person I used to be anymore. So along the way, I've gathered tools for myself. Now I want to share them with you. So here are the 10 things that you can do to help improve your mental health during this pandemic. Number one, meditation. Meditation is a great way to reduce your stress levels, uh, control, it helps you control your anxiety, emotional well-being, and it also makes you uh, aware of yourself. Now, some form of meditation can help you develop uh, a more stronger understanding of yourself, growing into the best version of yourself. My invitation to you is to try meditation in the morning and evening, 10 minutes a day. If 10 minutes is too long, then try 5 minutes and then build it up to 10 minutes. Number two, yoga. Now, yoga helps you to, I mean, yoga is a great way uh, because it helps you to focus. It improves your flexibility, strengthens your muscles. Um, and overall, it improves your mental health. In this lockdown, we can't go out much, so uh, try and move your body as much as you can. So yoga would be amazing uh, for you to try. Number three, social media detox. Now, detoxing from social media can help improve your mental health greatly. Uh, because, and not only your mental health but your self-esteem as well because most of the time we end up comparing our lives with other people which can lead to depression. Whenever I feel overwhelmed by um, being on social media a lot, I have a routine where I delete um, social, either social media apps or I turn my phone off for several days. Now, turning your phone off may be too extreme for you. Um, so I would suggest to try and uh, maybe turn it off for a half a day or uh, maybe delete the apps from your phone for a day or two and see how you feel. Number four, detox the news. <laughs> this goes hand in hand with, with social media. Um, most um, news channels, platforms are always reporting bad news. There is no, I, I hardly see any, about 98%, 99% of it is, is, news is negative. For some news channels, bad news is good news and good news is bad news. If you are in lockdown and you are struggling with your anxiety, looking at um, watching the news minute by minute aggravated speculated news will only make you fe feel more fearful and anxious. Anything important that you need to know, you will know. You will hear it from someone or you can tune into the news like once a day, you'll know. Number five, conscious walk in nature. <laughs> now, um, you know, in the UK, we're, uh, during this lockdown, we're allowed to go out for a walk uh, or exercise for an hour. So uh, use this if you're in the UK or anywhere in the world that you're allowed to go out for a bit use this time to reconnect with nature, reconnect with yourself, ground yourself in nature, because, um, you know, we are part of nature and we sometimes forget that. So stay grounded in an ungrounded world right now. Number six, read a book or listen to audiobooks. Now, 
reading a book sharpens your mind, it lowers your stress, improves your memory, and the list goes on and on and on. Rather than binge watching Netflix all day long, use this time to gain more knowledge. Number seven, journaling. Write everything down on paper. Whether you feel anger, frustration, sadness, happiness, joy, um, write it down on paper and then burn it. You know, it will help you so much. Like it will help you to express, it will help you to become self-aware and self-reflect. So use this time to start writing and write, write, write. Whatever's coming up, just write. Write it down and burn it, throw it away, keep it. Whatever you want to do with it, write it. Maybe you will look back at it after all of this is over and you will laugh. It's like, oh, wow, that was crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> Number eight, watch motivational and inspirational videos. Now, it's really, really important for you to feed your subconscious mind with a lot of positive things right now. Most of the world right now is tilting towards uh, darker sort of negative because all of us are in fear right now. Um, so try and um, inject your mind with a lot of positive um, things uh, like just that you can listen to Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Alan Watts, Wayne Dyer. There are so many Oprah. There's so many people out there who carry so much knowledge, so much wisdom. Why not use, um, why not learn from them? Number nine video call friends and family. I know we can't do anything physical right now. Use this time uh, and the technology to connect with your family or friends, reconnect with them. If you're struggling with anxiety, make sure that you ring them up and tell them how you're feeling so they can help you out. Right now, we need everyone together. Number 10, write 10 things that you are grateful for. Now, once you start writing this list, you will be surprised how many uh, positive things are going on in your life. You'll be grateful that you have shelter. You'll be grateful that you have food on the table. You'll be grateful for the sunshine, which most of the UK is experiencing right now. And you'll be grateful for the bird singing near your window. Um, so every single day, write this, uh, write 10 things that you're grateful for. And um, you'll, you'll notice the shift in your mindset. There you have it guys, take whatever you need from the list and I hope it helps you in some way. Know that this too shall pass and it's an opportunity for you to slow down, pause and reflect uh, on your life. Know that everything is going to be okay and this won't last forever. Don't dive into the fear or into conflicts be the light in the darkness. Please do subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will speak to you soon. Bye! Peace and love! <laughs>